Previously, we discussed the base induced hydrolysis reaction of nitro molecules. Now, let's take a look at the acid induced hydrolysis of nitriles and let's begin with step number one. So in step number one, we have our nitrile compound that is mixed with hydronium and water. So the hydronium will react with the nitrile protonating the nitrogen of this nitrile compound to form a resin stabilized intermediate that is a strong Lewis acid. So the entire purpose of step number one is to basically create a strong enough Lewis acid that can react with this water molecule. So once we form this resin stabilized intermediate, this hydronium becomes a water molecule and this water molecule molecule now reacts with this strong Lewis acid nucleophilically. So the oxygen attacks the carbon displacing the two electrons placing them onto our nitrogen and we form this intermediate as well as our water molecule that is present in close proximity. So this water molecule is important because it basically reacts with this intermediate in step three to deprotonate this H atom from our oxygen to form this intermediate that no longer contains a positive charge on the electronegative oxygen. Now, this water transforms into hydronium when it deprotonates this oxygen. So now this hydronium protonates the nitrogen of our molecule. So this nitrogen contains a lone pair of electrons. It can grab the H off of our hydronium. And in step four, we form our resin stabilized intermediate where we have the positive charge basically delocalized among these two atoms here, the nitrogen and our oxygen. Now in step number five, a water molecule that is formed in step number four from this hydronium now acts as the base deprotonating this oxygen, taking away this H atom and these two electrons go onto our oxygen and we, for, and we form an amide. So this is our acyl compound called the amide. Now, we take our amide and the amide in the presence of acidic conditions will undergo an acid-induced hydrolysis reaction in which the amide will be transformed into our carboxylic acid. So now we take our hydronium, it protonates this oxygen to once again transform this weak Lewis uh, acid to a strong Lewis acid. So we have resin stabilization and the hydronium is transformed into a water molecule. Now the water molecule can react with the strong Lewis acid, nucleophilically attacking this carbon displaced into electrons, placing them onto our oxygen, and we form this tetrahedral in intermediate. Now we have a water molecule in close proximity that pulls away an H atom and places the two electrons onto our oxygen and so we form this tetrahedral intermediate that no longer contains a positive charge on this oxygen. Now in step number nine we basically have the hydronium molecule produced in step number eight deprotonate or actually protonates this nitrogen to basically convert a poor leaving group into a good leaving group. Now, in the next step, either this or these two electrons create a pi bond between our oxygen and carbon, and this good leaving group is basically kicked off. This bond is weak enough, and so it breaks off, and our molecule, NH3, the ammonia, basically uh, uh, leaves this molecule and we form a resin stabilized intermediate. So in the final step, we have this resin stabilized intermediate deprotonated on our oxygen. So this ammonia acts as our base, deprotonating the H and forming the final product, our carboxylic acid, as well as our positively charged ammonium. So we see that the net result in this acid-induced hydroxyl 
hydrolysis of nitrile is to take our nitrile compound as shown and transform it into our carboxylic acid. But the first step is to basically transform it into an amide and then from the amide we can transform it into our carboxylic acid.